Howdy folks, Jeff from Still Dragon here. Today we're going to talk about assembling a crystal dragon. It doesn't really matter which size crystal dragon we talk about, the 4 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch, even the 2. It's all basically just a scaled version of one another. Today we're going to do the 4 because it's really easy to show for video purposes and I can handle everything by myself. So the components we have here, I've got a fully assembled rig here. We've got the flanges, the rods, We've got the glass chimneys, the, this is a pro cap column, so we've got the pro cap plates and the crystal dragon gaskets. Here I've got everything broken down. For easy, I'm going to take this one apart, pull the plates out of here, we'll reassemble them in here as we're starting from scratch. So here we go. So we're going to start by disassembling the system here to pull it out and assemble the other. We remove the top bolts. It's almost as if we're going in reverse here. Pull the flange off. As you can see, the crystal dragon gasket. Puller plates. Here, we've got the plate and the crystal dragon gasket. These just sit right in the groove in the gasket. So as you can see, I just pull the plate right out here. I'll set it up for the use on the next system. Pull the plate, see the plate is actually here in the gasket. We just open the gasket a little and pull it around. And the last one. Be easy with the glass as you're putting it in the rods. If you want, you can just do all the rods at the end. You can see the bottom plate. We didn't bother putting the flow directors for the pro caps as this would be on the kettle. If you're doing a series of crystal dragon sections over one another, you'd want to use the flow directors the entire time. So we're going to make sure that we use this plate without for our bottom section. All right. Move that one to the side, and here we'll go. We'll start from scratch. So I've got my crystal dragon flange, set it up. We put a plate in the bottom flange versus the top because if this is your top section going to the deflagmator, we want enough head space on that top plate. So not worrying about the amount of space from the kettle to the bottom, we put our plate in the gasket in the bottom flange. Let's do the whole thing and put it in a new gasket. So we've got my plate, got my new gasket, slide it in here, pull it around, We're all set. Make sure it's seated nicely in the gasket and then just set it here in the flange. Perfect. Take our glass chimney, put it in the gasket. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of twisting. Just make sure that it seats in there nicely and that the glass is in the gasket. Okay, we're all set. Gasket in the flange. Take our next gasket, plate, I guess if I was looking to do a speed run on this maybe I would have practiced a little earlier but it's really easy and after you've done a couple you won't really even have to think as you do it. Just make sure to double check everything, make sure your caps are nice and secure. Make sure the plate is in the gasket, and then seat the gasket on the glass. Make sure it's nice and even. Here we go. Next section pops right in. Easy as can be. If 
you want to keep your plates nice and clean, I suggest using a pair of rubber gloves or something. We're just going to wipe all these down and get my fingerprints off of them at the end anyway, so it's not much of a big deal. Pop the glass right in there. There we go. So now we've got four plates. Now, I did not make sure to twist them to have the flow directors all land on the liquid bed, which is very important. So I'm going to do that now, make any minor adjustments so that way all the plates line up properly. One of the issues that users have here is they try and tighten this thing down like it's the lug nuts on a car. Like if they don't do it hard enough, it's going to go flying apart. I assure you that's not the case. All we need to do is get a nice vapor seal and that should be plenty of pressure to hold the liquid. So I've already put my inside nuts on this rod. This one's not all threaded, it's only threaded at the ends. But what you'll do is you'll take your inside nuts, bring them in a bit, and then bring them down. Grab my bottom nut, secure it to the bottom. Now you want to pay attention here as you set up the bottom to make sure that the rod will not interfere with the tri-clamp when you go to set it up. Otherwise you're going to add a little extra headache that you don't want to deal with. So we're going to size this one out first and then we'll do the others. Put my final crystal dragon gasket on the top here. And then our last crystal dragon flange. Again, just a light amount of pressure. You don't really need to muscle it or force anything. We want to make sure that we've got enough rod to get the nuts to bite at the top. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to lock down the bottom. Here on the four inch size, we're just using half inch nuts. So I've got two half inch box wrenches. Tighten it down, and we're good to go. Nice and secure. So what we'll do is we'll leave the inside nut for the bottom down, and then we're going to bring the top ones together. I'm going to do all the rods here. And we want to try and get them all around the same height to keep it a nice clean look. Before I go and put this top flange on, I just want to kind of look over everything, double check, make sure my glass is nice and even. You'll notice if you push too hard, the glass will want to slide out one way or the other, and that's what will give you um, an imperfect seal. And then you'll have leaks and you'll have to start all over. If you've got the system up and running and up to temp, it'll just drive you crazy. So take your time, do it right the first time, make sure everything levels out good. There we go. Top flange section. Double check, make sure our gasket is nice and sealed inside. It is. And we'll put our nuts on top. So before I go to tighten these down, I'm going to make sure to lock all of the bottom rods in place. Another thing, be careful with the box wrenches. If you slip and whack this glass, it is possible that you crack it. It's pretty thick and durable, but I don't want to put it through that kind of test. Alright, 
So now that this is all secure, what we're looking to do is again, just tighten it enough to get a vapor seal. So I'm gonna go around, you have just, I use a little bit of pressure with my hand here to hold it down, and then twist the top nuts down so it's secure. The other concern we have is making sure that it's nice and level. Especially when you're doing one of the larger columns, you get up to 18, 24 plates. If you don't get the flanges on nice and level, you can start to get really skewed by the top. So what I'm going to do is grab a level for the top of here so we can just make sure everything is good. It's also a good point to note that you want to make sure the surface you're putting it together on is level. Otherwise, you're going to throw everything off from the beginning. Alright, and now we're going to make sure the system's level before we lock down the top nuts here. All right. All right, now that I've snugged up all the top ones, everything looks good. We're nice and level this way. adjustment here and there and that's it once we're all level we've brought it down now we're just going to bring these nuts up from the bottom and lock everything in what this does is makes it so these bottom nuts or the interior nuts and the rods are actually supporting all the weight of the flanges and anything we put above so that way the glass is not impacted by any of the additional weight all of the weight supported by the rods. All right, we're all snug. One last check for level. That's it. That's building a crystal dragon. Whether it's a the this smaller four inch style here, or even an eight or a twelve, it's really no difference. If you have troubles getting leaks, or when you go to test it, what I would do is maybe put an end cap on here, or put it on the vessel and just fill it up, and make sure that it doesn't hold water or that it holds water. Uh, as long as it holds water and everything is good, then you're fine. If it's not, then again, just loosen these inside top nuts and just tighten these down a little bit on the corresponding side and then rechecking level. Making sure that the system is level once you've got it sealed is the most important part. Outside of that, piece of cake. All right, thanks for watching. That's your Crystal Dragon Assembly video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below or give us a call.